Hello there, internet people. Here is a laser review of the BF Balfong R5 Mini Radio. Mini Walkie Talkie. It's also known as a BFT20 or BFC9. There's also another R5, but it is a higher power water resistant UHF radio. Anyway, this is 16 channels, UHF frequencies, claims that it's 2 watts, some places claim it's 5, but it's not. Okay, here's the su suggested programming. You want to set up the channels as GMRS <laughs> using the USA FRS frequencies. I suggest using uh, channels 1 to 7 as the low power, and using channels 8 to 15 as high power. And you want to set those up as narrow band. You'll set those up with the chirp radio program and the suggested channels are 8, 15, 9, 16, 10, 17, 11, 18, 12, 19, 13, 20, 14, 21, and 15 as GRMS channel 22. Also you have one slot left and it, it will be channel 16. I would suggest setting this up as channel 22. I think that's 462725 megahertz as wideband. So you're going to set up these radios as a sort of privacy uh, bozo filter on them. So you're going to put a DCS code in there, not a tone squelch, a DCS code. Uh, DCS204N and put it on both radios and you'll put do that under chirp. That way if you get bozos on your other channels you can uh, filter them out. Okay, here's the pros of this little radio. Low cost, of course. Uh, a pair of those for f under $40 Canadian. Uses a USB charger, so it's only 3.4 volts, 3.7 volts, sorry. Uh, has about a 48 hour standby. That's what the power save on. Um, I haven't tested it. You can put it in scanner mode using Chirp. Uh, but you have to use the developer options and go into scan mode. Anyway, that's a little more advanced, but uh, you want to program it with Chirp and it uses the BF888 uh, programming uh, software firmware. That's the right word. Uh, it's small, easy to carry, so you can just take it with you and it's no hassle. Uh, it has a really good little belt clip on it. Uh, it has a high sensitivity. Tivity. It claims it's uh, 16 microvolts, but uh, other places I've seen it was decimal to zero microvolts, which is very good considering a lot of other radios in this category are 0.25 or, or worse. So if you uh, are in a pretty quiet area, you could set your squelch to 2. But if you're in a noisy urban environment, lots of routers, computers around, stuff like that, you want to set it to a higher squelch value. And then you're going to upload that data pack to your radio, and it should be ready to go. So there's what a BF20 looks like. And here are some of the colors you can get. Red and white. You know, red would be really handy if you're out to walking in the woods or hiking, you drop it, you pick it up and you can find it again. Whereas the black's a little tougher. Anyway, hope this is uh, useful to you. Alright, enjoy that radio.